So Apple released iOS 14.6 beta 2 yesterday and it enables this really cool feature on your iPhone. If you place an AirTag on the back, you can actually spin it just like so. Check this out. This is only on the latest beta. You see that? It doesn't fall off, it just spins. Isn't that cool? I'm happy that Apple added this feature. You can just carry your AirTag with you on the back of your iPhone. Just kidding guys, obviously this is not a feature. It's the magnets on the speakers that attach to the wireless charging mechanism. I thought it was really cool to share. Anyway, Apple released yesterday, iOS 14.6, as I mentioned, beta 2. And of course, in this video, we're gonna go over a few changes that I've noticed so far with this software. Now, this one came in at approximately 300 megabytes from beta 1 to beta 2. Apple is definitely on a roll here. And one thing I noticed is pairing AirTags with the latest iOS 14.6 beta 1, I was having some issues. Beta 2 has actually addressed those issues for me. So I think Apple, that's why they released this beta on a Friday yesterday. And today is Saturday, which is unusual for me to drop a video, but I wanted to share some details with you guys. Now the latest beta here on this iPhone 12, take a look at the build number. There it is, it's gonna be 18F5055B. And that's gonna be iOS 14.6, Developer Beta 2. Public beta testers, uh, this is not out for you guys just yet. Now, there's also some minor changes to the UI as well with the latest beta, starting with the menu within email. So if we go to the email here on the iPhone running the previous beta, you see that the colors are now different. You see that the gray is a little darker. The yellow has been replaced with red right there for the flag. And the trash color is also uh, darker as well for the trash can there. So minor changes to when you swipe on the actual emails to uh, flag or delete or move or whatever you want to do with them. So something new there as well. Now we also have something different as well. As we know, Face ID uh, requires attention. And this is a feature you can turn on or off. So if we head on over to Face ID and Passcode, you find a request attention for Face ID. Right there it is on the previous beta. Now on this beta, if we head on over to Accessibilities, you can now find it under Face ID and Attention. Now it's set to here instead of the actual Face ID and Passcode options. So if we go to Accessibilities on the previous beta and we go to Face ID right here, it does not have the request attention to Face ID right there. So this option has been relocated, right there it is. Uh, and of course you want this option to be on because this here uh, allows Face ID to detect if you're actually looking at your phone and your eyes are open in order to unlock, that way it's more secure. So that option has been moved again from a Face ID and passcode over to Accessibilities and Face ID and Attention, right there it is. So yeah, minor changes happening there as well. Now, as we know with the latest iOS 14.5 and the latest 14.6, Beta. When you go to update, you now have a more options on the bottom of the screen where there's a new beta available. So of course this is not available here because I've already updated, but this is the menu that I'm talking about here. When you go to update your device, this is something new as well. That's from beta one, but yeah, it's for those of you that missed it, that is something new as well. Not a whole lot happening with iOS 14.6. I'll have a YouTube community poll. I'll link that in the description when it is up on my YouTube channel. Um, there's just not that much changes here with the latest iOS 14.6. Now I've also noticed that calls are a bit better on the latest software, more clear, uh, the connection is better as well. That may just be me in my area, but I noticed that as well, just kind of throw that one out there. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below about these changes. What do you think about this really cool thing that you can do with AirTags? Isn't that interesting? This is the actual mechanism that Apple uses to charge your iPhone, right? There it is, the magnets attached to the speakers of the AirPods. I thought it was really cool. Anyway, guys, that about brings it into this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.